These four RV dump station finder apps will conveniently find RV dump stations nearby and free ones. But first, real quick, if you're new here, I'm Randy. And every Thursday, I help you make big memories in small campers. And say it with me, because weekends are just too short. It's the last Thursday of the month. So this is an AMAT video. Hillbilly Jeeper WV asked, What app do you use to find dump stations and propane fill? Oh, I just love your questions. And the first one on the list is called RV Dump Stations App. This app is just 99 cents. When you first launch the app, it uses your location to display dump stations around you. You can then click on an icon to get more information about that specific location. The app gives you basic information like the name of the location, distance away, address, and a phone number. Next, I want to show you the app's filtering feature. Here's a list of the different types of dump station locations that this app uses. And you can also filter your search results by these different types of locations. It also lets you search for free dump stations. But as you can see, there's not too many free results. I clicked around on many of these free results and a lot of them weren't free. For example, this one says if you camp there, it's a free dump. If you just stop by, it's $10. But the cost to use the dump stations isn't listed anywhere. And it doesn't have a specific tool or filter that allow us to filter for a... Ah, I can't say that. <laughs> to help us search for places that we can fill or refill our propane tanks. I'm so sorry to say, Android users, this app and the next two aren't available for Android. Oh, and all of the information for all of these apps can be found in the video description below. The next app is the All Stays app, and this app costs $9.99. Now I know what you're thinking. Why on earth would you pay $10 when I just shared an app that will cost you $1? And that answer is, not only will it help you find dump stations, but it'll help you find campgrounds and so much more. Let's do a dump station and a propane search so we can find one location for both. Each location offers more details than the first app did. And oftentimes, this app will also tell you how much the charges will be to use the dump station facilities. This app has a free search feature, which is really nice when you want to find free campgrounds. But let's do a random search for free dump stations and see what we find. This looks like a free campground with four sites and it has a dump station. Yeah, this looks like it would be a free dump station. Okay, let's find another one to check on. Hmm. This one is a visitor center, and it looks like it's got a dump station. Oh, this is so much fun. Let's try just one more. Bingo, another free campground with a dump station, and it looks like this one's got water too. I absolutely love all of the features of this app, and for $9.99, it's well worth it. I love all of the filters, I love that it's available offline, and it has its own propane finder section. Yeah, the All Stays app has been my number one go-to app for finding campgrounds for the past four years. It's been a gold mine for me. I did a previous video that highlights all the features and the functionality of this app. So if you wanna learn more, I'll leave information about that video in the video description below. The next app is called the RV Dump app and it costs $2.99. This app looks like the last one and that's because it's made by the same company. It allows you to filter and find dump stations at campgrounds, gas stations, truck stops, rest areas, service dealers, and water treatment plants. For the lower price, you get the same dump station finder features found in the Allstays app. In fact, it uses the same data resources, but this app is stripped down just to finding dump stations. Now this one's a step up from the first app that we talked about. The things that make it more impressive are, one, it works offline just like the Allstays app did. Secondly, it seems to be better at finding those free dump stations. 
Third, if the cost for using the dump station is available, they'll also offer this information. And fourth, this app also has a propane location finder. Boy, I gotta tell you, before I started camping in National State Forest campgrounds, I just didn't realize how much your RV tank size really matters. I can usually go three or four days max. How long can you go before you have to dump your RV tanks? Yay! The next app is available for both Android and iOS users, and that's the Google Maps app. And woohoo, it's free. In the search bar, just type in RV dump stations near me. Google Maps does a fairly good job at finding nearby dump stations. Now let's search for free RV dump stations near me and let's see how good the results are. First result is a Flying J Travel Center. When I look closer, it's telling me that this dump station is available for cheap, but not free. The next result's a gas station and it's not listing any prices at all. Oh, this result looks good. It's a City Public Works, and it does say it has a free dump station and fresh water. With any of these apps, of course, before you head on over, you're going to want to call them and make sure, number one, that there is a dump station there and confirm the price. Most of us have Google Maps or another map app already downloaded on our phones. You could use a map app as your primary source, but here's the thing. There's not going to be just one app that's going to absolutely list every dump station that's available. So using a map app as your secondary resource is a good way to ensure that you're going to find a dump station closest to your location. What is your favorite way to find RV dump stations, either on Android or iOS? Please share your feedback in the comments section below. Your input helps everyone. Now, it's your turn. What question's on your mind? The last Thursday of every month is very special because it's AMAT. And I absolutely love these Thursday videos. I love reading your questions. This is how I get to know what's on your mind. And that's what matters the most to me. So, leave me your question below. And remember, it can be about anything. And who knows, your question could be the one that I feature next month.